You know how SpaceX loves to keep us on our toes? Well, they've done it again, as they've changed the plans for Starship's orbital launch debut. In today's video, we'll explore the reasons behind this sudden switch and what it means for the future of SpaceX and Starship. So buckle up and let's dive into this cosmic roller coaster. SpaceX, led by the visionary Elon Musk, has been working tirelessly on the Starship, a fully reusable transportation system that could carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. But a recent change in their plans has left us all scratching our heads. SpaceX recently released new details about the upcoming test flight on the company's website. This flight will be the first of its kind, featuring a fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy rocket. The main objective? To learn as much as possible and improve the probability of success in future missions. The rocket will launch from SpaceX's Starbase, soaring east over the Gulf of Mexico. In less than a minute, it will surpass the speed of sound and maximum aerodynamic pressure. The Super Heavy booster will separate from the Starship upper stage after about three minutes, allowing the Raptor engines to ignite and propel Starship into space. Starship's orbit is expected to be elliptical, with a high point in space and a low point inside Earth's atmosphere. The vehicle will fly over various locations, including the Atlantic Ocean, Africa, and the Indian Ocean, before a scorching re-entry just north of Hawaii. As for the Super Heavy Booster, it will reignite some of its 33 engines for a boost back burn, targeting a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. However, this is a significant change from the original plan of using the chopstick catch method at the Starbase launch pad. So, why the change in plans? It could be due to FAA requirements or a lack of confidence in the catch method. The price of this trade-off is not small, as SpaceX has invested over a billion dollars in the launch and catch tower, ground systems, and infrastructure. With so much at stake, SpaceX doesn't want to risk damaging the infrastructure they've spent over a year building and testing. A catastrophic failure could set the Starship launch campaign back months and potentially create regulatory concerns with the FAA. The chopstick catch method is not without its challenges. The current recovery mechanisms on the arms and landing hardpoints require near-perfect accuracy. Even the slightest error could result in a massive explosion, potentially damaging surrounding infrastructure. The immense risk of the catch attempt means that SpaceX will have to be incredibly cautious, expending numerous ships and boosters to avoid rendering its only Starship launch tower unusable. But don't be too disappointed. This change doesn't mean SpaceX has given up on the catch method altogether. If the upcoming test flight goes well, we can expect more successful catch attempts in the future. SpaceX's Starship factory has ambitious goals, aiming to build five mega rockets in 2023. This translates to five flight-worthy Starships and five super heavy boosters. In 2022, SpaceX completed several boosters and Starships laying the groundwork for a busy testing schedule in the coming years. Various boosters and Starship vehicles are already close to completion or ready for pre-flight testing. Even if some of them encounter design flaws or issues, SpaceX has demonstrated its ability to rapidly adapt and iterate on its designs, ensuring a busy year of test flights in 2023. SpaceX's change in plans for Starship's orbital launch debut has undoubtedly raised some eyebrows, but it's essential to remember that innovation often comes with challenges and adjustments. This change could be just what SpaceX needs to perfect their catch method and achieve their ambitious goals. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy major plan change. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative and entertaining content like this. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey, and we'll see you in the next video.